diffraction is a really interesting phenomena. When a wave passes through a slit, it creates a beautiful interference pattern. Why does that happen? The real question is, how can we understand this in a different manner so that it does not lose its essence? So that's what we are here, which is to understand diffraction through an interesting way. And that interesting way is the phasor diagram. Now you're going to ask, what is a phasor diagram? This is a phasor diagram and these are phasor arrows. This is a position where the phase difference is zero. This is a position where phase difference is pi by two. Now as these arrows move, the phase changes. And as the phase changes, their sum, which is the amplitude, changes. This phasor diagram represents sum of two sine waves with equal amplitude and frequency. And these represent two sine waves with different amplitudes but same frequency. Every point on a wave can be considered as a source for secondary wavelets. And when a wave passes through two slits, it produces a striped interference pattern. To understand this, consider a wave as a bunch of sine waves traveling in all directions, which can be further reduced to a single sine wave sweeping out the entire area. Hence, the waves interfering from two slits can be reduced to just two sine waves coming from the slits and interfering at different points on the screen. At the center of the screen, both waves are in phase or the phase difference between these two waves is zero. As they move away from the center, the phase difference changes. In fact, it increases. And because of the change in phase difference, we can represent the same situation using the phase diagram. At this position, since phase difference is zero, we get a peak in intensity represented by the black line. This represents a phase difference of pi by two, so intensity starts decreasing. At this point, phase difference is pi and the intensity falls to zero. And then again, the intensity increases and because of that, we get an interference pattern. Now let's consider diffraction. After removing the slit, we find many waves interfering with each other at a single point. To understand this on a phasor diagram, we need many phasor arrows. Here I have used five phasor arrows to represent it. These arrows have different amplitudes and different phases. As their phase changes, the amplitude or the intensity of light changes. Initially, we get the highest intensity and slowly the intensity decreases and then there is a slight peak in intensity compared to the central maxima. So, this was it. A very simple way to understand diffraction pattern. Thank you so much.